was pretty thick. And we have some rusting going on in the background. That's another video though. So we have the refractory cement. Rob has gone to get some water. And we have the skulls that we tested the blood on. Um, mud blood. Mud blood again. And permagram. So they are holding up pretty well. Okay. All right, today we're gonna make some skulls for your fire pit out of refractory cement. Um, we're gonna use the Dollar Tree skulls. We're gonna recycle them. And these are the ones from the uh, blood experiment. All right, so as you can see, we are using the Dollar Tree skulls. These are the same ones we used for the blood experiment. Check that video out. And we have refractory cement from Clean Burn. If you kind of look, it's like it's got chunks of brick or whatever in it. I don't know. It's kind of rough. But I kind of went ahead and cut out the hole in the bottom, put the, put the cement in. And I took this one, and I, I don't know how much cement this is going to take. So I went ahead and just filled it full of dry just to try to get an estimate, get me close to how much we're going to use. Uh, water, bucket to mix it in. And I'm going to try to mix it with the screwdriver since we're doing a small batch, but I don't know, I'm probably, uh, probably going to have to upgrade that. But yeah, so I'm just going to take this. No, 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 no. I always put the water in first. Put some water in first. Otherwise, this stuff will just stick in the bottom and the cracks. But, I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna dump it all out. I have never used this stuff before. I've made many bags of cement, but I've never used this stuff. I hope I didn't get it too wet. If so, we're making a few of them. Yeah, this stuff will dry your skin out pretty bad. So, I definitely recommend wearing gloves. Cut gloves with these. Set me up. <laughs> You're the best of the best. <laughs> these are all ripping, ripping on them. Ripping them, pulling them, putting them on. <laughs> All right. I can't. Let's try to get it in here. Depending on where you're working, you might want to cover your table too. This is a work table, it's got a lot of crap on it. Try to work it in.
jab it together to make combine the two pieces together so you don't have any cold joints. As you can see, <laughs> what it is dry is not how much it is wet. So we're gonna have to mix it some more. Can you see how low that is? But that's just kind of working your air out, mixing it all together. But let me. Luckily we got more to do, so I'm gonna make three of these. And we actually just bought a fire pit to put these in. Now, if you look down in here, as concrete's um, setting, You'll notice all the water rises to the top to evaporate out. And the bubbles, hopefully got all the bubbles. Yeah, that's another, another reason to, you know, when, when I'm stabbing it with the uh, screwdriver, trying to work everything out. So I'm probably gonna have to come up here. As you can see, I made this batch a little drier just because of all the water that was already coming to the top over here. But you can see, it just soaked that water right on up. See all the air bubbles starting to come up. See them all. That way it keeps it off your face. Get you a good looking pour. And if you're really not worried about it, you don't have to do this, you can skip this part, I guess, but I want mine to look. All right, now we just gotta find a place to set this to dry and move on with the other two. All right, well, time to cut them out and throw them in the fire. Oh, my knife broke. I hate these knives. Just 
stuff staying stronger than the other stuff we made them out of. And regular concrete? Yeah, we're going to do our concrete. Hey, I'm not trying to cut myself. What are you moving for? Because I don't want to be cut either. You're not scared, are you? You don't think Just I cut you? You don't think I cut you, do you? <laughs> oh, the blood. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect crime. Recycling. <laughs> Looks darker than the regular concrete. Well, it hasn't got the sit in the sun and dry out. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch out! My toes! <laughs> you don't have to worry about getting cut. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to worry about getting cut. And I have on um, flip flops, so yeah, that wouldn't have been good. No, but see how, see how you can tell it's, it's just got to dry out. So, hey, these are pretty sturdy in case you can't tell, <laughs> but it does have some air bubbles in it. They both seem to have trapped a lot of air, more so than. It seems a lot smoother than the regular concrete. Can I just have a regular concrete one? Uh, yeah, I think you took it back around behind the garage, maybe. We'll be back. He's going to compare. Here's, here's the regular concrete. And you can tell the bottom of this one's starting to get light gray like this one. They just ain't dried all the way out. But I'd say they're equally smooth. The bottom, though, on the regular, regular is uh, definitely doesn't trap as much air and the air bubbles that's for sure but one last one a lot of times i'll heat these up with a with a gun with a heat gun to pull them apart so i can put them back together and use them again but they've been used twice and honestly it's getting dark so rough bottom again huh. well good thing you can't see that part but let's go get a fire started so you know what we did we poured skulls for our fire pit and while those skulls were drying we burned up all our wood <laughs> <laughs> so luckily Luckily, the neighbor, neighbor came through for us. Oh, what in the world? I think this is my junk one. Of course the wind never blows this way so I stay on this side and hopefully all this wood is good and dry. Out of my eyes. We're 
we're gonna have to find some creepy music to put with this. Yeah. That ain't it. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> it is for some people. <laughs> <laughs> Burned him up. 